What's up, Bari crew? Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in a hotel. I look like I'm in one of those Vogue videos, like Nazanin's top beauty secrets or something. But I'm currently in a hotel in Vegas. And I know you guys are probably like, weren't you just in Vegas for Christmas? Yes, I was, but I loved it so much, I had to come back. But no, seriously, I'm here for a Lady Gaga concert. If y'all are not aware, I'm a huge Die hard Lady Gaga fan. So when I found out about her Enigma tour, I was like, I need to see her perform. I need to see her live. She is a legend. So I was having such a hard time finding tickets to this concert, you guys. Which makes sense. I mean, Lady Gaga, again, she's a legend. I'm sure everybody wants to see her. So when I was trying to find tickets, I was trying to find them completely last minute and it was so hard for me to find them. So SeatGeek came to my rescue. So I just want to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for helping me get tickets for this concert. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for making this happen for me. So if you guys are familiar with SeatGeek, it is an app that takes tickets from all over the web and puts them in one place to make it very easy for you guys to find tickets. Now I actually purchased tickets from SeatGeek myself about two years ago. If you guys remember when Mel and I were still living in Ohio, I took them to Cleveland to go see Jay-Z's 444 tour. I actually purchased those tickets off of SeatGeek. So they make it super easy to find tickets. We all know Valentine's Day is around the corner. So if you want to take your boo thing to a concert or a game, or a show, I would definitely check out SeatGeek to find just tickets for that. And I do have a code, if you use the code NK, you get $20 off your first purchase of tickets on there. So make sure you guys go down below to download the app and again, enter the code NK and you'll get $20 off. So the concert is tonight, it is currently 4 p.m. We flew into Vegas last night at around like 6 p.m. By the time we got to the hotel, we were here at like 7 p.m. Um, we're staying at the SLS, by the way. So we got to the hotel, it was pretty late at night, and guess what, guys? We have a Ketsuya in this hotel. I had no idea, and you guys know Ketsuya is one of my favorite like sushi restaurants. I go to it all the time in LA. So when I found out we had Katsuya here, I'm like, it was meant for us to stay at this hotel. So we just went to Katsuya. We had a long dinner there. We're like, Triana and I talked a lot. By the way, it's just me and Triana. Um, she's another like diehard Lady Gaga fan. So she came with me. So we just had dinner and then we just came back to the hotel room and watched some TV and went to bed. So that was it for yesterday. And then this morning, we just, not really morning, more like early noon. Um, we just went to breakfast and we went shopping a little bit and we just chilled in our hotels just to, you know, freshen up like I was so tired for some reason and Vegas makes me so tired like all the walking we just chilled in our hotel rooms a bit and now it's time for me to get ready because we're going to dinner before the concert we're going to sushi sushi Roku I've never been there but I know we have one in LA too so we're gonna get some sushi before the concert I'm so excited the concert's at 7 so I need to get ready and I like, do my makeup now and by the way this robe is so cute it is from Savage Fenty Rihanna's lingerie line. I'm about to do my makeup for the concert and this bathroom is like perfect for filming it because there's like a ledge that's like really high so I don't even have to stack like books or anything. My camera's like perfectly placed which is really convenient. I need some like moisture to my face. I'm just gonna try spraying some MAC Fix Plus as a primer. But not as a primer, just to give my face some moisture i'm so excited to see gaga like i love her see i've been a huge fan of lady gaga when i was younger like during her raw raw phase i was a huge lady gaga fan i love like born this way and alejandro and telephone and i've always been a huge fan of her and then you know as i grew older it's like my style matured and i feel like we like matured together like when i matured and my taste kind of changed so did hers but the thing is i'm not just a huge fan of gaga for her music i love her as a person like if you guys haven't seen her documentary on netflix it's called gaga five foot two i definitely recommend you guys watch it i just love her so much and as you guys know my dream is to become an actress and that's like my ultimate goal i don't really like to talk about it that much but you guys know i I go to classes and stuff, but I just don't want to talk about it that much on YouTube because I'd rather my actions speak for myself. I love her as an actress. She's a phenomenal actress. I actually saw her first time like acting was in American Horror Story. I love American Horror Story, but in season five, American Horror Story Hotel, she was the countess and she had such a sexy role. Like I loved her role. When I like someone, I stalk their entire life, guys. I know everything about Lady Gaga there is, okay? I like to Google you. I like to find what you did in high school, what you look like in high school. When I'm obsessed with someone, I am obsessed. So I'm just a huge fan of her. I really just can't wait to see her perform live. I bet it's going to be such an experience. And I love how much she just doesn't give up.
before she even became, you know, Lady Gaga, she was just going to, you know, bars and open mics and just singing her heart out and performing in front of these little crowds and she just puts so much passion into everything she does and again she's such an incredible actress that she's only been in one movie and she's sitting at the table with Glenn Close and Nicole Kidman and all of these very huge actresses I'm like damn like only one movie and you're on that level sis like goals by the way for primer I use this MAC prep and prime natural radiance primer and i'm gonna go into foundation but guys i've been breaking out so bad you guys can't this is a lot better you can kind of see it um but if you guys have been following me for a while you know i've been i've dealt with acne for my whole life it used to be way worse when i was younger and i went on accutane like five years ago and that did clear it up but accutane is not a permanent solution and you know 13 to 20 years old um, your body changes a lot. So I still do get acne now. It's nowhere near as bad as the pre teen days. But I broke out so bad the other day. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. It was very, very bad. I haven't broken out bad like this in a long time. So I've just been really... I haven't been wearing makeup this whole trip. I'm just wearing makeup for tonight. But I've not been wearing makeup. I've been really simplifying my skincare routine. Like, just cleanser, moisturizer, that's it. I'm really letting my skin, you know, heal. I, I started using Curology again. But damn, it took a toll on my confidence, guys. I've been like a bitter bitch to be around because, you know, it's one thing to have acne, but it's one thing to have, you did have acne and you finally cleared it and then boom, it comes back. That's like worse. It's like a tease because you get used to the life of having clear skin, you know. I know it's there's like real problems going on in the world. I don't want to say like, oh, pity me, but... If you guys suffer from acne, I totally understand how you feel. It's just, it just sucks, you know what I mean? Like, to not be comfortable in your own skin. Like, if anybody understands, it's me, you guys. I totally get it. It, it really does lower your confidence, but just know it does get better. Acne is not permanent. It will get better. Unfortunately, I have to stand really far away from the camera because there's a light right above um, where you guys are. So if I get really close, I have this overhead lighting, and it's just not good lighting. So... That's why I'm standing 10 feet back. I actually want to show you guys real quick this makeup bag I ordered off of Amazon like a few months ago. I love this bag. Like, look at this. It has all these compartments to put your um, makeup in. It makes it so easy to travel with makeup. Um, again, I got it off of Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below. But just look up makeup uh, travel makeup organizer and I'm sure it will come up. But now on top of that hourglass, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless foundation. Grabbing Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know the drill. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe for contour. Stu, I love contouring my nose with this shade. It comes out so good. I love contouring my nose. I can't believe there was a time in my life where I would do my makeup without contouring my nose. Like, I swear this cafe color from um, Maybelline is the bomb for contouring. I actually discovered it when I got my makeup done with Faces by Rob. And at first he's like, this concealer is like so good for contouring. I was like, really? Because I never really like use concealer for contouring. So he changed my life. He changed my life. I love it. All time favorite powder. Huda Beauty, Mwah. love you. Um, banana bread powder. It's gonna be setting my under eyes. And I really wish, I'm like thinking about like when I'm editing this video, I'm like, I really wish I could put like a Gaga instrumental in the back of this video, but the way copyright is set up, I feel like I can't. Hmm. You know what, let me just call up Stephanie and ask her if I can use one of her songs in the back. Of my video if only that was a thing y'all i was friends with her oh my god me and stephanie would take over the world if you guys didn't know her real name is stephanie germanotti by the way guys i forgot brow gel i'm so upset i don't know how i forgot um and triana doesn't have brow gel i asked her i was like do you have any brow gel and she's like what do you think the answer to that question is i was like yeah you probably don't huh i feel like it's only right to listen to old school lady gaga music as i'm getting ready this song by gaga to me is so underrated like it's not talked about enough and i love it i know that we are young
I want you everything as long as it's free. I want your love. I want your letters, so you kiss in the sand. I want your love. And you and me could write a bad romance. Why you come around me with the ass like that? Not like me. Not like me. Oh, I do. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank God Triana came to the door because I was taking my grand old time having my own little concert in here and she's like, you know it's 5.07? A reservation for dinner is at 5.30. I was like, that's why I just shut off the camera. <laughs> I just shut off the camera real quick. I didn't even put on lashes. I'm wearing just mascara. But my outfit, I'm just wearing a black bra from Victoria's Secret over this sheer turtleneck that I got from Urban Outfitters. And then my jeans, just black jeans from Paxson. And Trina was like, you sure are in a dark mood. Tree Tree's wearing my Windsor coat. You excited to see Gaga? That's so excited. We're gonna see you guys at dinner and then we'll see you at the concert. I'm so excited. This is the white lotus roll. Then this is the katana roll. And Tree just got albacorn salmon. Mm -hmm. And then this, we ate like half of it already, but this is rock the shrimp. rock shrimp. Spicy rock shrimp. So I'm back in my beauty room and I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog and talk to you guys about my experience at the Enigma concert and you guys it was so much fun I could totally go again and again it definitely was such a great experience and it was everything I dreamed of and more so if you guys have been thinking about going to the Enigma concert you guys need to go. Like, I really want to go to her jazz and um, her jazz and piano concert as well. If you guys didn't know, she has like two shows. She is crazy on the piano, you guys. Like, I kid you not. There was one part, like a few of her songs, she performed on her piano, and she looked like a wild animal, you guys. She was like playing her keyboard. At one point, she like, grabbed her foot and she started like banging it on the keyboard. She was going crazy, and like there were some parts where she would sit, she would sit up on the chair of her piano, like on the bench. So she was like crouched over, like. Like an animal just like playing her piano and it was just magical as everything I expected and more and she's just so crazy talented and she was just so funny throughout the show like every time she would just like talk to the crowd and talk to the audience she was just so sweet and like I just want to have a conversation with her I could sit and have a conversation with Lady Gaga for hours and hours and I even got some of her merch I got her t-shirt on the back, it just says Lady Gaga. Overall, this was such a crazy experience and I cannot thank SeatGeek enough for taking me. You guys, anytime you need tickets to a show, concert, sports games, make sure you guys check out SeatGeek for that. Again, I've used SeatGeek before, before I even like got in contact with them and they were great. So make sure you guys check them out down below. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye guys.